I just went to grab something and I don't know what I went to grab. I like got up, walked over there and I forgot. Um, so I had to like test out some, some things. Um, I have a couple different options for like microphone, which is the microphone that I'm using right now, which is just the iPad microphone. So, um, hopefully this works or I can use headphone microphone. So this right now is option number one. And I was trying that out first because the crickets are really loud. So I was hoping maybe you could hear the crickets, but I don't know if you can. So this is option number one. This is gonna be number two. Um, this is number two. Um, how do I change it? I don't know. Is it, does it automatically? Okay, you can hear me. Can you hear me with the, this one? This one. Um, and it's good to see you too. I feel like, I feel like I haven't streamed in forever. I feel like even though we've been talking in Discord, I feel like, I feel like I haven't seen, oh, you're unable to hear me. Hmm. I don't know what I just did there. Oh no. Well, that sucks. Hmm. Turn up the volume? Well, I've never used these before, so it might not even work. But I do have like a microphone microphone. Does this work? Does this microphone work? This is what I use when I record, so this should work. I wonder if I like had to start with one. <laughs> the audio seems fine without the gadgets, okay. <laughs> Okay, we'll do that. I was hoping you could hear the crickets anyways. Um, but that's weird. That's weird because this is what I used to like record when I record on the iPad, but whatever. Um, as long as the microphone works and as long as the internet holds out, hopefully, hopefully we should be good. Um, so yeah, I was saying, I don't think you could hear me. <laughs> I was saying, it's good to see you as well. Even though we've been talking in Discord, it feels like, I don't know, I, I guess I haven't been seen. So it feels like I haven't seen you, even though we've been, I know I've been talking to everybody in Discord. What does this go to? I don't know. Oh, well, if, that's cool. If we don't use a microphone, then that means I can plug back in if I need to charge. So I thought that like we could have like a little chit chat with my mom today, tonight, and I feel like I've talked to her about it before, but apparently I do a lot of things in my head and forget to tell people about it. So I guess this was one of those situations and she was like, she was like, hell no. And I was like, but I had a plan. Oh well. She probably, I probably asked her before when she came to visit me and said no, and then I blocked it out of my mind. You feel like you haven't been in my streams? Well, it's probably because I haven't streamed in a while. I thought I was going to stream last Wednesday at the hotel, and I didn't um, because... I was on the hunt for the pool. Where's the camera? I don't even know where the camera is. Not over there. Why do I keep looking over there? Where is it? Over there? 
I don't know. Yeah, there, there, well, there you are. <laughs> um, yeah, I was on the hunt for the pool, and then... And then... Got distracted. I think I just passed out instead of streaming. Here we go. Oh, thank you for cheering. Man, I should have brought my glasses out here. I can like barely. Can I make the chat bigger? No, I can't. Oh well. Thank you for the biddies. <laughs> That's exciting. So I just unpacked all of my tarot decks. I'm looking over there. Okay, uh, unpacked my tarot decks and. I didn't pack as many as I thought I did, which I think is good because when I was packing up the car, I was like, wow, it feels like I'm moving. Um, but I have a lot, um, the two tarot, the two tarot, the uh, <laughs> words, the two tarot decks that I brought are the Alice in Wonderland deck, of course, and then the mini Lightseers deck. So these are the two tarot, I should unwrap it. <sighs> Yeah, so anyways, my mom, like, refused to be on camera, and she, like, literally, like, ran away. Like, ran away. It smells like peppermint. I was like, okay, bye. So I have this deck and the Lightseer's Tarot for Tarot, and then I have, like, seven Oracle decks to choose from. If we want to do tarot today it's been a wild it's been a wild trip i'm not really sure how i'm feeling kind of been up and down so i did put a channel point redemption for a tarot reading in the channel points and then did i say that already and then um, an oracle card as well for oracle oracle cards okay so of course I brought my the little mini like gemstone affirmation deck that just has like the message right on the card and then I have the chakra deck that also has the message on the card and then I've got Jenny's deck that has the messages right on the card I feel like I haven't done a tarot reading in like forever. Um, then of course I had to bring the two pocket decks that we had, the Shaman's Dream and the Wisdom, Wisdom of the Oracle Oracle, which I really have not used really since I opened it. Keisha, hi, how are you? You guys, I swear, you guys have been such like grounding support <laughs> that I've needed on the on this trip. Um, both of you, Journey and Keisha, thank you so much. <laughs> I don't think you realize how, how much you've been supporting me unknowingly. Um, so I brought the Ancient Stones Oracle. Oh, is everything backwards? How do I change that? If I change it, then I won't be able to see the screen, right? Hmm. The Shaman's Dream is one on your list. Oh, wait. Wait, this one, the mystical shaman one? Um, cause shaman's dream is, I think there is a shaman's dream, but it's, oh, wait, what? I feel like she also has, Colette also has a deck called shaman's dream. I don't know, either way, they're good decks. Um, this one is a new one that we just unboxed, the intuitive whispers. Yeah, it's backwards. It's backwards for everybody. Wow, I brought a lot of new ones. 
um, and the angelic activations. Isn't that interesting? The Priestess of Light, which this isn't new to me, but it's new to you guys because I, I had it like in my personal collection for a while. And then the Fairy Godmother. I think this is coming up in a weekly moon update, so that's why I brought this one because I needed to pull cards from it still. Yay, so that's not that many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten decks. Ah, uh, Amber's here too. I know, I was trying to wait until eight, but look how dark it is. It's pitch dark already. I was setting up and the sun was setting and I was like, man, I wish I could get the sun setting on camera. Because west is like that way. So I was trying to get the sun setting on camera, but it was, it happened too soon. That's what happens the more north you go. Ten has been coming up for me a lot. Hmm. That weird one, the 941 and then 541 was coming up and then 555. Has 10 been coming up for me too? Or is that like if you reduce it in numerology? I don't know. I don't know. It's been... I've been, I, I don't know. I thought that like by now I would have like some sort of like clarity as to like what I was returning to when I come back from the trip and I'm not there yet. I kind of felt like I got a little like grasping of it last night and and now I feel like it slipped through my fingers. I think I've just been too busy. Like I thought I was gonna go on this trip and I would have all this time to think and all this time to like meditate and like journal and do my own like tarot readings and stuff, but it's been it's been too busy and I don't know. It might be the drive back <laughs> when I actually get to like think about things. I mean of course I, I did think on the drive up and then I had that the Anahata's purpose like I should have stayed the whole week or the whole weekend instead of just the two days I don't even know why I did that I guess I was just kind of anxious to get here because I haven't seen family in so long and then it's just been like this bombardment of like family which I is a good thing but it's not allowing me the like contemplation time that I needed Oh, 10 has been popping up for Jenny. Well, it sounds like a lot of us are going through this weird transformation. I'm, I'm wondering if it's like in preparation for the eclipse. And I think I'm like planning on driving back during the eclipse. And all oh, hoaxers, 20 months in a row. It's weird that the... Oh, how do I get there? I should be able to keep up with... Oh my gosh, that's so much better. I'm still streaming, right? Yes, okay. Now I can like see all of the things. See all of the things. Or not, never mind, it's not working. There it is. Okay, we have no requests though. But I can see the request if anybody has a request. <laughs> and then I can jump back through the chat. Wow, that's cool. Cool. Um, oh, I don't know what's going on with Jenny. I haven't I haven't talked with Jenny. I was just saying that it seems like Oh, Journey was saying that a number was coming up for her over and over again and there's been numbers coming up for me over and over again and it sounds like just a lot of people are going through some sort of transformation right now and I'm wondering if it was like in anticipation of or leading up to the eclipse
But now I think I'm like planning on driving back during the eclipse. <laughs> and I'm like, should I wait? <laughs> I don't know. Supposedly the cardinal signs are really growing and going through it for the next two-ish months. Great. Um, I have, Journey, it's the craziest thing. I've been seeing so much cancer stuff and I don't know if it's because of the video that I sent you was all about cancer. But now it's like all I see is cancer, like what's happening for cancer. Like, and it's, and they're all like, hug your cancer friends cause they need it. And I'm, I'm like, what is happening? What's happening? Hope she's been going through transformation, but feel it's finished or close, close to it for you. Well, that's good. Because I've been curious about you, Hoaxters, because of the eclipse being in Pisces, and that's your north node. No, wait, that's your south node. Never mind. <gasps> Jenny! What's up? We were just talking about you. Were your ears ringing? Man, I should have brought my glasses out here. <laughs> Spoke about Jenny and bam, you're here. Yeah, I've been having a lot of this uh, number synchronicities and Journey was saying that you've been having a, a number, a number that's popping up for you. Strength, strengthen up boundaries talk, blah, blah, blah. It does feel like we say that a lot, I guess. So, oh, let me show you all the things that um, <laughs> cut in Salem. I got this really cool brochure thing with uh, with a map in it, <laughs> and all of the things that I didn't get to do while I was there is in here. But that's okay. It just means that I have to I have to go back another time. There were so many things and the people I was with didn't want to do any of the things. And I was just like, why did you come then if you don't want to do any of the things? But I did get a sticker of a, of a witch moon thing. Oh, where's my camera? Oh, there we go. Isn't it backwards for you? I think it's backwards for you. Oh, 1010 is Jenny's number. Cool. So mine is, is so random and weird. It's 941, 941, 541, and 555. I honestly think, I think it was just like too, there's too much to do. And we, we kind of couldn't find our way around really well, which was weird because at the end of it, we like ended up in like the main part of Salem and it was like, we should have just been here the whole time because a lot of the time we was spent like walking around, um, like trying to find things. And then all of a sudden it was like, oh, here we are, but we have to like go back because we only paid for four hours of parking. When I was like planning this trip, I was, I specifically asked like we should stay overnight and take multiple days to like see everything but it didn't happen it didn't happen I'm gonna have to go another time um but I got a sticker I got a sticker and a shot glass <laughs> oh are they the same And, um, my aunt got me, I got, I got presents for, for all of you guys, but I can't show you what it is, but my aunt got me a Christmas ornament, a 
of which, oops, and a towel with a cat on it. And then I'm not going to show you what your presents are because you will get them later. You will get them later. I feel like I'm missing a lot of stuff because I'm I'm a blind old lady. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Hoaxers changing up your work schedule so you get more time off. I mean, don't we all need time off? That like people keep asking me like how I'm doing, like all the people that I haven't seen in a really long time, and I'm like, I'm freaking tired. I'm ready to retire. Can can we just take a nap? I'm ready for a nap. Ooh, life purpose for 1010. That's awesome. Put my glasses on. I, I can go run and grab them. I probably should. <laughs> Sorry if I missed anything, though. Is anything important? Uh, I'm just going to give ho hoaxers some hugs because I feel like I missed something there. Ooh, a surprise. That sounds fun. Okay, maybe I will grab my glasses. Jeez Louise. The lady at the DMV told me I was going to need my glasses, so apparently I need it for computer screens. Okay, be right back. <clears throat> Okay, come back. I have my glasses. I was like, I can't, I still can't see the chat. There we go. <laughs> oh man. Keisha. Holy moly, we, we hit a sub goal. I didn't even know I had a sub goal going on. Keisha, thank you for gifting us up to journey. <gasps> Keisha! Thank you for gifting a sub to Medium Day Lee as well. Okay, I've got my glasses on. I've really needed a break, Keisha. See, I don't feel like I've taken a break though. It feels like, it feels like a lot. And and I think it's just I mean some people that I'm seeing right now are like people I haven't seen in like ten years. Some people like I haven't seen since my dad died. Some people used to be like way shorter than me, and now they're like two feet taller than me. It's just a lot. It's overwhelming. Uh, like I said, I think the drive home is going to be like, <laughs> it's like my only chance at freedom. I'm going to go to the beach on Friday because it's supposed to be 80 degrees. I'm going to go to the beach on Friday and I'm going to go at like the crack of dawn. 
and stay there all day and get burnt like a crispy piece of bacon and hopefully I'll find some clarity at the beach. I've missed hanging out with Journey too. I wish you guys could be hanging out with me right now. <laughs> we ride at dawn. Yes. So I went to the the ass crack of dawn. Is that not is that is that not what it is? The butt crack of dawn. Um, we went. My mom took me to um a main beach and we walked around, but it there it was like, it was like a boardwalk. Like you weren't actually on the, on the water, in the water. I want to be in the water. Even if the water's like 40 degrees, it's actually high tide right now. There is a river behind me, but I hear that even um, my 12 year old cousin can't get in the water anymore because it's too cold. So if a 12 year old can't do it, I don't think I can do it either. It's very pretty. It's it's like it's like a dreamland here. Well, what is Maine's motto? Maine's motto is the way life should be and vacation land. <laughs> but unfortunately that only lasts like three months out of the year. <laughs> the rest of the year it's snow. <laughs> Why are we talking? We're talking about the ass crack, ass crack of dawn. We like butts. Jenny, I brought your oracle deck with me. I forgot to show my mom. I meant to show my mom. Apparently my mom is camera shy. She was, I wanted her to come on with me tonight, but she did not. I feel like pulling a card. Who wants a card? <gasps> Boy cat loose. What's up? <laughs> Medium Jenny Lee does not have any butt emotes. I don't have any butt emotes either. <laughs> loose, I had to put, or my partner had to put my cat on anxiety meds because I'm out of town. And I haven't, and they've never been without me ever in their entire lives. So he had to take them to the vet and get anxiety meds. Ah! Should I just pull a card from every... Okay, the Shaman Oracle. Yes, Journey, I was just trying to figure out how to go back and look at that list. Stream manager. How long ago did you redeem it? <laughs> I would be so sad. Oh, maybe I can do it on my phone. Two requests. Oh my God. Wait, five, eight, five. Is five, eight, five still here? I didn't even see that, but it looks like they redeemed an Oracle card as well. Now, why can't I look at the chat while I look at this? Okay. What? How are we on a hype train? I'm missing all the things. Is 585 still here? Please speak up or for, or I'll do journeys first. Because I did not even see you redeem that and my apologies go out to you. Isn't there like a different, okay, there we go. <laughs> Sorry, I'm always struggling with the technologies. Tea time talks, how are you? Three minutes ago, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Shadow Max, thank you for gifting a sub to Tea Time Talks. 
All right, Journey, if you create a butt emote, <laughs> then I'll use a butt emote. Okay, did I catch up on everything? I don't know what happened. Okay, I don't see, I don't see, what was there? I don't see them, but that sounds like a, that sounds like a angel number if I ever heard one. Maybe I will refund their channel points. Okay, but Journey of Self-Discovery is getting the Shaman's Oracle. Let's see what happens. No, wait, let me go back here. I like this chat better. Keisha! Thank you for, thank you for the biddies. Oh wait, who has the golden toilet? Michael, um, Michael Mantis. Me, I'm Jay and Lee. Thank you for the three consecutive streams. <laughs> Okay, let's get a card for Journey. Let me calm down. Yeah, so my mom says she never comes out here because the mosquitoes supposedly come up through the floors, but so far so good. <laughs> I don't have any mosquitoes yet. Michael's toilet? <laughs> they bite through the floors. No, it's just that there's no, there's no like, Oh, I'm on a porch. I'm on a screen to porch. And there's no like insulation <laughs> on on the under on the floor. <laughs> it's Michael's toilet. Um, Journey, are you thinking about getting the, the pocket? Shaman's Oracle, or do you want to get the full-size one? This one. <gasps> Wild woman. Is it backwards? Is it backwards for you, or is it just backwards for me? One of the candles just popped. How did I lose the book already? Allison, Jesus. Oh my God, Jesus, I found it. This is number 62, by the way. <laughs> Ooh, 
villain era for cardless, cardinal signs. Am I a cardinal sign? I can never remember. No, I'm not. I'm a fixed sign. Or at least my son is a fixed sign. It's a pretty cool card. What was that? Something just popped up. Let me go to the stream manager and how do I look at the activity? Nope. That's not it. Where's the activity feed? There it is. <gasps> Boy got loose. Thank you for cheering the biddies. Now I can see all of the biddies. And a five stream streak. Way to go. Way to go. There we go. Wah. Okay. When the wild woman dances into your reading, she reminds you of the essence of authenticity and freedom. Divested of all social constraints and cultural conformity, the wild woman holds up a mirror to your essential self, the true essence of who you are and who you are meant to become. She is a reminder of the bright light within each of us that gets dimmed by the restrictions imposed upon us by the expectations of society. She reminds us that in order to be fully present to life, we must uncover that light and let it shine brightly regardless of the perceived consequences. When the wild woman comes to dance in your reading, you're invited to shine brightly and to know that your true self is being called out to engage the world. This is a symbol that your... Um, <laughs> This is a symbol that your long-held dream is beginning to take root and wants to be expressed. Your authentic self doesn't fit into a box. It needs freedom to shine. It's time to have courage and to step into the light. The wild woman says, shine brightly, dance with abandon, be yourself, and let the great spirit decide what happens. You'll be happy that you did. Excess for its own sake is a sign of imbalance. This is a warning that you may have been trapped in obsessive thinking or behavior, looking for release in places that will never provide it. Let go, lest you become the hungry ghost of Chinese Buddhist lore that can never be fulfilled. True release comes from trusting the fluidity of life, understanding that just as the river needs its banks to flow through, so too do you need boundaries around your thinking and behavior. Now is the time to simplify, be mindful, and connect to that light within. Whoa, <laughs> I was going sideways there. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just falling over. I'm here for the villain era, for sure. Oh wait, put these on. Jeez Louise, what am I doing? What am I doing? Keep your glasses on. <laughs> what about surprise mystery poop? I missed that. Keisha, you are not 62. What are you talking about? <laughs> Number 62, it's me, it's me. Um, Journey's been Undergoing the process of releasing and letting go of outdated and outmoded systems of anything and everything cause meant to create newer approaches, energies, and methods. I think we all need some of that. Great. When I read Great Spirit, that really, like, I don't know, like, struck me for a second. Um, <laughs> Journey, this card is so you. It says Keisha. <laughs> it so is, it so is. Oh, good. If Keisha is 62, I'm 900. 
damn we old. Don't say it. Dude, I had to walk around Salem with a bunch of 70 year olds. We're not that old. <laughs> We're not that old. <laughs> it was like wrangling chickens. Like one was going this way, the other was going that way. They just like stop in the middle of the street, like with cars coming. We're not that old, you guys. We're not that old. <laughs> I know I joke about being an old lady all the time, but like, holy shit. Holy shit. No, I don't want that one. Oh, that made everything turn green. Okay. I mean, 70 is the new 60, right? But damn. Damn. Double damn. You're welcome for the car journey. Tell people that you're 10 years older than you are. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh my gosh. I mean, that's what I, like, they, they look amazing. Like, they don't look 70. Like, if you look at, like, my grandma when she was 70... They look at least a decade, if not more, younger. And I tell them that, but man. <laughs> huh. I don't know. <laughs> it's not the years of your life, but the life and your years that matter. <sighs> Very true. Now, how do I find that list again? Bush is putting here. Let me act like a 70 year old trying to figure out how to use this. this. Can I just click on, nope. <laughs> oh, maybe it's just slow. Is the video feed okay? 585 never came back. I'm going to I'm going to refund their channel points just so that it gets the list. I like to check things off the list. We did journey. Oh my goodness, Keisha is next. What oracle card would you like? We have um we have the chakra and the gemstone oracle. We have the reflections oracle. We have the Shaman Oracle, which we just read for Journey. We got the Ancient Stones that makes everybody cry. We have um, the Fairy Godmother Oracle. Intuitive Whispers. Why do I feel like the light is getting darker? Maybe it's because the sun was still kind of out before. Intuitive Whispers. Did I say angelic activations? I don't remember. Priestess of Light. Um, I do have Oracle, I mean, uh, tarot decks here too. So, you know, we can do tarot readings also. Now that makes it hard to see in the chat.
Oh, Giant of the Frost, thank you for a resub. Hello, how are you doing? I'm, uh, apparently giants live in Maine, and I'm not used to feeling short, but all of my relatives grew, like, two feet since last time I saw them, and it's so, it's so weird being around people that are taller than you. Other than my mom, I'm, like, the shortest person in my family right now. It's weird. It's kind of nice to, like, not have to, like, look down all the time and get to, like, look up. <laughs> Anyways, I don't know. I thought of you being a giant, and I'm surrounded by giants. <laughs> Keisha's going to rock whatever age she is, except 42. <laughs> Video is perfect. Yay. Thank you for letting me know. I was, I didn't think it was going to work because we're in the middle of nowhere. There's a satellite dish out there that like apparently just doesn't work some, like most of the time. Keisha, did you say which deck you wanted or did I miss it? I'm struggling with the chat for some reason. How do I go? Okay, maybe I can just go to Can I see the chat? There we go. Okay. Dealer's choice. Okay, geez Louise. Jeez Louise. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I took my glasses off. <laughs> I'm as old as my glasses are. I'm like, why can't I see that? Because I took the glasses off. Okay. <laughs> That's why they're on a chain. Because I just, I, I take them off and set them down all the time. Okay. I'll keep them on. Alright. Keisha, Keisha, Keisha. Let me think. Like at loose, you should you should give all of your seniors some some uh, little Nicholas Cheney things, cause at least they're at least they're on the I I know my glasses are always on my neck unless I take them off. Sometimes I take them off to like put my hair up or something, or like change clothes. Um, I'm five, I'm five, ten, um, but everyone in my, in my family that I'm visiting right now is over six feet, and, like, the last time I saw my, like, little cousin, he was shorter than me, and now he's six, seven. <laughs> I'm like, what happened? <laughs> ah! And then his his older brother is shorter than him, but he's still like six three or something like that. And like everybody in my family is over six feet except for me and my mom. Oh, and my aunt. I know, I better start growing. I need to eat more vegetables, I guess. Jenny is taller. Oh, never mind. <laughs> okay, I picked it. I picked it down for Keisha. Trying to focus. Trying to focus. It's so funny, like how tall they are now, but then like. They still look like babies to me. <laughs> it's so weird. I 
Okay, Keisha, we're getting some fairy godmother um, messages for you. You just tell people that you're six feet? Um, you know what was weird? My driver's license was off. Like, I just had to renew my driver's license. And she was like, so you're 5'8", right? And I'm like, what? No. I haven't been 5'8 since I was, like, 16. <laughs> so apparently my driver's license was wrong. I may have, like, lied because I remember when I was a flight attendant, you couldn't be taller than 5'10". So maybe I lied. <laughs> And said I was five eight. <laughs> I don't know. So I remember my head my head would hit the ceiling on the on the plane that I that I flew. Um and like you had to wear if you wanted to wear a skirt, which wearing a skirt was cooler like temperature wise and it like gets really hot on the tarmac, you had to wear heels if you were, were, were gonna wear a skirt. But if I wore heels, then I would bang my head on the galley kitchen all the time. So I had to take my, <laughs> I would take my shoes off in flight so that I wouldn't bang my head <laughs> in the kitchen. Cause I was like, I was like right at the, right at the cutoff for 510. This, this old lady called me out one time. She was like, oh, honey, you took, you took your cute shoes off. <laughs> the half is important, Keisha. Keisha, um, Winona Ryder is also 5'3". I don't know why I know that, but <laughs> I do. You know, it's so quiet here. It kind of freaks me out a little bit. <gasps> this one. Oh my gosh, somebody got this card this week. This is the move your butt card. Is it backwards? Did I ask that already? I know I asked that, but I don't think I got an answer. Or I don't think I saw the answer. <sighs> mm, who was it that got this card? It was someone, it was somebody's um, Kofi card, this, this, um, This week, I think. I'm taking my glasses off because I'm looking at the close-up. <laughs> Look at that fairy godmother exercising over there. No matter how fairy tries, grows static without exercise. So raise your beat and start to move. Run or swim, dance and groove. Motivation, don't be drab. Within no time, you'll feel fab. So you're totally getting called out with this card. And I said that to the person that got, got it for this week. This was my card for the year, I think. So, um, it doesn't mean that you have to go drive across the country or halfway across the country, but, um, move in, in some sort of way. Your desire to bring improvements into your life will mean 
making some important changes with regard to your lifestyle. I do not wish to sound like a killjoy, but your body is giving you signals that you are ignoring. Honor yourself by introducing healthy habits into your life and listen to your body's wisdom for it craves some stimulation and attention. <laughs> Look at the dudes in the background. <laughs> <laughs> did you know that you can stretch and flex your muscles it's not only your body that benefits but also your imagination too for as you physically reach with your body you experience new heights both physically and energetically thus stimulating your creative wait your creative sense senses to receive new ideas Tapping into the spiritual side of exercise allows you to slow your mind and free yourself of distraction. Being present and detaching from your clutter in your mind, you enter into a form of meditation. As you begin to feel the process of the deeper mind-body state during exercise, you will begin to notice the calm, connected feeling spill over into other parts of your day. Your body, as the ancient wise ones taught, is to be treated as a temple. It houses your spirit, after all. Not only that, physical activity will give you a sense of accomplishment and purpose whilst enhancing your sense of well-being. I'm not here to tell you to run a few marathons, but to coax you off the couch and step up a little. Even gentle exercise such as walking or yoga will keep your body in good shape, improve your mental health, and increase your awareness of the spiritual dimension within you. So put on some leg warmers and move your body. Puts glasses back on. <laughs> Cardio queen card, totally. It's so crazy to me that like, I've been outside like every single day since I since I left North Carolina and I'm like I don't think I've been outside at all this summer just because I've been having so many health issues but like health issues totally disappeared when I went on vacation Quietly tries to balance a drink on Keisha's head because <laughs> she's so shy. Fossilat is shouting out Giant of the Frost randomly. I feel like that already happened. Hoaxers is down with taking a flight in a different country. You do need to do some other stuff. I'm doing a lot. Oh no, my watch just fell off. I'm doing a lot at my desk and not out there in nature. I know, like, the thing, the thing that, like, jumped out at me for you with the card, though, was about the, like, having the physical movement inspire creative movement also. And that's what I was thinking of you like being at your desk trying to be creative and wanting to be productive but like it's really crazy how like in the moments that we step away step away from like routine and doing something over and over again um is when you actually find creative inspiration when it when we feel like the opposite is more true like I need to focus on the computer. I need to stare at Photoshop all day, every day in order to be creative. Or I need to like draw every day or paint every day. But taking a walk will probably help you create more in the end. I know now, that, see, I feel like the only reason that I'm outside, you're saying something about humidity is because I'm like not in fucking desert weather anymore or not desert weather jungle weather 
Like when we take a shower, we get more messages, but then like you avoid taking a shower. <laughs> and then you're like, oh, I should take a shower. Oh, wow, I feel so much better. Okay. How am I learning? And I, I want to apologize if I'm missing anybody's um, comments because I don't, I'm, even with my glasses on, I'm struggling to keep up with them for some reason. Rewards Q. Also, like mobile doesn't let you like look at multiple things at once. Jesus, that was 30 minutes ago. Hoaxers, what Oracle deck would you like? Did you see me um, tell all of them? We got the stones, the ancient stones. We've got the Reflections Oracle and um, the Chakra Oracle and the Gemstone Oracle. We have the Shaman and the Angels and the Priestess and the Intuitive and the Fairy Godmother. See, I didn't bring that many. That's not that. That's not too many, right? That's fine. It's fine. I just want a card. Bitter tea, hello, how are you? Welcome in. Love the background, me too. It's not my background. I cannot take credit for it. Cool compression socks over leg wearers. Keisha, <laughs> I had to get some compression socks because I'm an old lady with low blood pressure apparently. And I ordered from this place called crazy compression or something like that. I ordered from them like two weeks ago and I they haven't shipped and I don't, anyway, so I had to borrow some compression socks from my mother-in-law, which were my father's in-laws and I hate my father-in-law. And now like his feet are on my body and I can't handle it. But anyways, there's this place called crazy compressions that has like not ugly compression socks. I got some mermaid ones and I got some stripey ones and I got some like sunsetty looking ones. Whoa, why did the chat go way back this away? Oh no. If you look up the spiritual meanings of low blood pressure, it's kind of crazy how much I relate to it. You just want a card. Can you, can you, what? Oh, okay. I'll pick, I'll pick one for you. Hoaxers. Watching me on the TV. <laughs> That's just silly, but I watch you on the TV like every Friday. Thank you for following, following Zyra 300. Am I saying that right? Happy Wednesday to you as well. I feel like, <laughs> sunsetty favorite new word, going to work it into all kinds of conversations. Sunsetty sounds enchanting, doesn't it? <laughs> You got mermaid ones too? I don't, well, I would recommend this place Crazy Compressions, but like, I don't know if I'm ever gonna get them. What am I doing? Picking a card for hoaxers. This week has felt like a year.
new overlays. I like overlay shopping. I feel like, oh, I was like, do I have this backwards? I feel like maybe some cats need to be involved. Boy cat loose. I don't know why. I feel like a couple of cards for you hoaxers and maybe that's because I didn't realize that this deck was going to have the message like right on right on the card. I forgot because it's a new deck. <laughs> I didn't see your redeem. I probably just haven't gotten to it yet meme. Also, I'm really slow and uh, miss a lot of messages in chat too. I think you're getting three cards, Hoaxters. Also, I'm on mobile, so like, I don't see, I don't see all the notifications. Interesting. Ooh, dragon cats. Oh, speaking of dragons, boy cat loose. I th I don't know if I find I told you that I finally saw the How to Train Your Dragon movie. I saw the first and the second one, and now I can't find the third one. Even though I think it, I think the third one was like the first one that I saw to stream for free, and then like now I can't find it. I like refused to watch it because I needed to watch the other ones. Oh, that one. Oh, oh, oh. All right, hoaxers. How am I going to do this? Okay. Um, Mary, Queen of Angels. Do not be afraid. You were born for this. Trust in your voice. Trust in your ability to articulate your thoughts. Trust in your capacity to use and share your gifts. If you are feeling scared or unsure about the next step, this is just showing how much you care about making a difference. Stand in the light of your soul. It is the only shield you need. I trust in myself, my voice, and my gifts. I am unafraid. Wow, I feel like these two cards go very well with this one, being like Mary, Queen of Angels, also like um, just Mother Mary, like that mothering energy. So we also have Rose Quartz and Psychic Awakening. How am I gonna show, I can't. Okay, I'm gonna show you this card while I read one. <laughs> oh no, wait, I can't do that because it's backwards. Ah, okay, let's, let's just do this. <laughs> so Psychic Awakening says, you have the ability to awaken new and mysterious forms of reality. Think astral travel, visions and dreams, night magic, think shadow, the unknown, and faith. Think new beginnings and new dreams. They're all waiting for you to discover and unleash them. What will you do with this new awareness that wants to come through you? Consider the many ways that you can help and heal others by becoming the oracle that you were meant to be. So this is a third eye chakra card. The crystal is blue aventurine and the herb is cypress. And we also have a rose quartz, the mother of all love stones, perfect for heart healing and manifesting all kinds of love. 
It's considered the universal stone of peace and love, love for self, love for others, love for all of creation. Rose quartz opens the heart chakra. Reawakens trust, which was, trust was like on this card like five million times. Um, Uh, opens the heart chakra, reawakens trust, and dissolves negative energies. Affirmations, I am worthy of love and open to giving and receiving it with ease. So those are your cards, folks. There's... Do you see them? Cats and dragons. I'm feeling some cat. Oh, cats and aliens and dragons. Midnight sky with stars. Popcorn cannon. What is happening with a popcorn cannon? I need to know. I need to know right now. Oh, it just like jumps over things. Hoaxers, you're waiting for the new Joker movie? Um, oh my god. <laughs> Will you guys bear with me? I'm a new streamer. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I really kind of feel like for like how long I usually take for readings, like you really have not had to wait that long. Um, I don't know how to pronounce your name. 112. I think it's going to be okay. I think everything's going to be okay. And it says you've only been, <laughs> you've only been waiting for seven minutes. <laughs> That's like nothing. Most people have to wait like 30 minutes. Like I'm pretty sure hoaxers waited like 30 minutes. It's going to be okay. I think. I think it's going to be okay. Hoaxers, how do you feel about um, Mother Mary looking out for you? You're over here talking about the Joker. I think the I think the Joker needs some Mother Mary energy. I am not gonna go see the Joker movie in the theater because that movie was so dark and like so beautifully well done, but like I couldn't handle everybody else's reaction to the movie. <laughs> like sitting, like I went to go, <laughs> I went to see it at the Alamo, and. It was too much. I think I'm going to watch it at home. Having to feel like everybody else's reaction. That was too much. Sometimes, sometimes that's a good thing. Not in that case, though. Your Aquarius enjoying and your Sagittarius is rude. <laughs> Um, how, I don't, um, hmm. I don't know how to pronounce that person's name now. Here, help me pick an Oracle deck for you. Xi? X, X, C, V, I, 112. Are you still here? I know it's, I know it's been nine minutes now. <laughs> Would you like an Oracle card? Still, I don't know how to, um, this is like the first time I've ever used a, a mobile thingy, a mobile streaming thing. And I don't know how to look at, um, where people are. Stream manager. I can look at. Hoaxers is not here. <laughs> Hoaxers, why you have mad face? Activity feed. Quick actions. The quick actions have no words on them. What's that do? Nothing. 
Oh, stream marker added? Interesting. Moderation, mod actions, predictions. What are predictions? Yeah, so I can't see who is in the chat, but I guess I guess I took too long. Oh, you are here. <laughs> can you um can you give me a name to call you? Who called you? I called you because remember you had to wait like 5 million years for an oracle deck or an oracle card? <laughs> would would you like an oracle card? Are you interested in ancient stones? Or are you interested in reflections? Or are you interested in mystical shamans? Or priestess of light? Or intuitive whispers? Or fairy godmother? Or angel messages? Or chakras? Or gemstones or I almost forgot this one wisdom wisdom intuitive whispers I like your answer oh no <laughs> my glasses fell <laughs> and the angels <laughs> Too many options. I know Boy Cat Loose, but I am really proud of myself that this is all the decks I brought with me. <laughs> it's not that many. <laughs> it's not that many for me. <laughs> okay, angels and intuitive messages. Did you guys see um, the information I posted in Discord about this lady, this creator? Maud Hurst. I think she's the writer. Um, and I'm sorry if I'm asking this and you already told me. Um, the person I'm reading for, can you give me a name? I know you've given me so much information already of which decks to use. Thank you. X. Okay, that works. See, we don't have the toll boost to Wonderland so that you can share some information about yourself. So I had to ask something about yourself anyway. <laughs> Just pretend that there's a toll booth. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Intuitive messages for X. I'm going to pull like 20 from each, if that's okay. Drink your damn water. Thanks, oysters. Drink some water. Do you have a small bag of pistachios? I have a small bag of pistachios too. <laughs> I think it's like a two-year-old bag of pistachios. Because it's been in in I have this basket that I carry around. It's been in that basket like forever. It's getting kind of chilly out here. Even though it's supposed to be like really warm tomorrow. This one. Roasted and salted, you say? Ooh, these go really well together. Oh, never mind. How are 
we doing on time and battery? Okay. Ah! Okay, they still go good together. Look how pretty. Look how pretty they are together. Even the backs of them go together. Look how pretty. Ooh. We have slow down and sorry if it's backwards, I'm pretty sure it's backwards and sky beings. See from a higher perspective, you are being guided to take a higher perspective. Do not allow yourself to be limited by what you do not see or understand. Do not allow your current experiences to disrupt you from being the force of light you were born to be. Be open to seeing things differently and with consideration for by telling, wait, for, for by being willing to shift your perspective, you allow angels to bring divine order into your life. Thank you, sky beings, for helping me see this differently. <laughs> oh, good. I'm glad it makes sense. Oh, look at this guy. I'm gonna read that in a minute. In a minute, in a minute. I just can't get over like how they like match each other. The colors. <laughs> oh no, Giant in the Frost is coming to steal pistachios. Dude. I have too many pistachios. I will give you some pistachios. You don't have to steal hoaxers. <laughs> There's a person sitting in that hourglass. Can you see it? You are being called to slow down. The world around you might feel like it's moving too fast, but remember there is hardly ever an outward hurry only an inner one. I'm going to read that sentence again because I think more than X needs to hear this. There is hardly ever an outward hurry, only an inner one. You do not need to move fast to get to your destination. Slowing down will allow you to prioritize what is truly important to you and make space for your intuition to be heard. Being still can feel rebellious in a world that celebrates busyness, but this is your time to rebel. Disconnect in order to reconnect. Close your eyes and observe your breath. Notice how deep or shallow your breath is in this moment. How fast or slow your inner world feels. This awareness will give you a chance to slow down consciously. Deepen your breath. Six, sec six seconds inhaling through the nose and six seconds exhaling through the nose. Slowing down your breath will take you deeper within yourself, creating stillness that allows you to listen to your intuition. Live rebellious, rebelliously slow. I can't say that for some reason. And I think because you asked for like both of these cards, the sky beings, if you slow down, you will be able to like connect to sky beings. and help you to like be more open. Ooh, pizza, pizza time, it's pizza time. Nobody told me that hump day was pizza time day. You do pick good decks, X. <laughs> Hugsters Leo Moon is very greedy. Be careful. Oh, 
Oh no, you haven't been sleeping? What in the world? My problem is I enjoy sleeping, like, at times you shouldn't be sleeping. <laughs> it's not that I don't want to go to bed and go to sleep. It's just that, it's just that I feel like all the cool shit happens at night. You have severe depression because of sleep deprivation? Have you, like, I'm sorry to hear that, and I can relate, but have you, um, have you kind of asked yourself, like, why, um, why you're not sleeping? <laughs> the cards are telling you to get, get the fuck to bed. Um, and, the, and I don't know, I, I guess I'm just, like, sharing... And, um, my experience is that it took me a really long time to figure out, like, why I wasn't sleeping. Because it wasn't that I wasn't tired. Because I was tired all the time. But it was just because I, I was allowing myself to, like, do the things that I wanted to do when I was, uh, like, late at night. Like, I allowed myself to, like, uh, play with oracle cards. Or I allowed myself to journal. Or read. Or, like, watch movies that I wanted to watch. Or, like watch things that I wanted to watch because it, it ended up being that just like so like so much of our day is filled with things that we don't want to do and I guess there was a period in my life where like everything I was doing during the day was, was things that I didn't want to do so then I had to make time and space to like do things that I enjoyed during waking hours or during normal waking hours and it helped a little bit. Um, but I don't know. That's just my that's just my experience. It, it can be so many different things. It can be what you're eating or like what your hormones are doing. Or it can be so, 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 so many different things. You can fall asleep and stay asleep, but it's it's not quality sleep. Oh, interesting. You're going to a specialist for it. Well, that's awesome. Good for you. Thank you for following, Fairy God. I think... I've noticed a lot of empaths kind of like stay up late too. And I don't I don't think this is the same for for all empaths, but like I wonder if it's because like the rest of the world is sleeping that you finally feel in a place that like you're not feeling everybody else's energy. I think that's true for a lot of people. For some reason, I really felt like I needed to read this card, so I don't know who this is for, but it this is also star beings. What was this one? Oh, this one was sky beings, and this one is star beings. Um, ooh, and the fact that like you feel like you're not getting restful sleep when you're sleeping, you your soul or, or your spirit might be like doing things while you're sleeping. Anyways. Um, written in the stars. There is a great mystery unfolding at this time. All the synchronicities and signs you are experiencing are not coincidences. They are spirit-led experiences to let you know that you are on the right path. Trust in this where you, where you are is where you need to be. Stay committed to your vision because star beings are guiding your dreams into reality. Thank you, star beings, for guiding my vision into reality. <laughs> oh no, you're in ads. I'm sorry. 
You were going to read that alien card. I did read the alien card, but if you are still in ads, let me know and I'll read it again. Normal is out of the window, hoaxers, but like we still live in a society that does like weird things. The things that are that somewhat consistent. Well, I'll reread it when they come back. Are they back? Are you back, X? Okay, you are back. It just says... This dude says, um, star beings written in the stars. There is a great mystery unfolding at this time. All synchronicities and signs you are experiencing are not coincidence. They are spirit led experiences to let you know that you are on the right path. Trust in this where you are is where you need to be. Stay committed to your vision because star beings are guiding your dreams into reality. Thank you, star beings, for guiding my ancient wisdom into reality. Why is it using? Did you just roll your eyes at me? I disapprove. Hopefully you are rolling your eyes at star beings. Did you did I tell you guys about this this lady? How she was on that show Vikings? And she played Loki's girlfriend or wife or whatever. And she was like a shield maiden and kind of a badass in that show. <laughs> I can hear my mom sneezing. Bless you. I kind of feel like I could watch it again. I remember like really, really liking it. I think they have a bunch of spinoffs now. But so the creator of this deck was was that actress that played Floki's girlfriend and he, um, wife, whatever. He was like the boat builder guy that like made all those cool dragon carvings on the boats and like made all their boats that made them successful in all of their like pillaging and stuff. And she was his wife and... Um, she was a total badass because she um, she actually fought in like one of the wars while she was pregnant. And he was like, you can't fight in a war because you're pregnant. And she was like, fuck you, dude. <laughs> anyway, that's a good show. Now I have to... That's a screen. Fairy God. Oh, I don't think I have any fairy decks. How disappointing. Whatever is wrong with me? Or at least I don't have any fairy decks with me. Oh, except for the Fairy Godmother deck. Dang it, let me turn this back up again. So, Fairy God, let me know if you would like the Fairy Godmother Oracle. Whoa. The Ancient Stones Oracle. The Mystical Shaman Oracle. If somebody comments about this being too many decks, the Reflections Oracle. The Intuitive Whispers Oracle. 
Um, she survived the war. I don't remember if they won or not. Um, angelic activations, Oracle. Amber's done lurking. Oh my goodness. I'm so happy that you're here. How was Genevieve's second day of preschool? The Priestess of Light Oracle. The Chakra Oracle. <laughs> the Gemstone Oracle. Or the Wisdom Oracle. I probably should just like pick three and then give you the choice. But I'm on vacation, so I don't want to use my brain to decide things. How's about that? How's about them apples? Oh, it's only Tuesdays and Thursdays? Okay. Oh, well. She looked so cute. And too little. Too little. Oh, X, thank you so much. <laughs> I'm glad those cards resonate, and I hope that you get um, some deep sleep soon. Sleep is like one of my favorite things in the world. I was very, I don't, I, I never figured out how to check the, um, like look for people's names. I don't know how to do that on here. Amber, you don't remember any of school, like like in general or like of preschool? Because I for sure don't remember preschool. Oh, Hoaxers had a pet bunny in preschool. Oh, wow, in general? You were probably dissociated the whole time. <laughs> I know I was dissociated for a lot of it. Except for maybe art class. God, I remember there was this guy that was always trying to get me to like skip, uh, skip with him, but he always came up to me like before art class. And I was like, dude, this is the only class I want to fucking go to school for. <laughs> like, get out of here. I was like, it's, it's, it's not, it's not you. It's art class. <laughs> I ended up getting a cat out of him, actually. One of my first cats ever. <laughs> what is my life? I don't even know. I think fairy God is not here. Oh, like an Easter bunny. Oh, Amber, I'm sorry you had a traumatic childhood. Didn't we all? <laughs> what got loose? How do you get expelled in preschool? <laughs> sorry for laughing if it was too traumatic, but what? I didn't even think that that is possible. <laughs> You don't see the name in the list. Okay. <laughs> okay, you're laughing too. I was like, damn, Allison, shut up. But I couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> what happened was... All right, I'm going to grab some more water while you type out that story because I cannot wait to hear it. <laughs> story time. <laughs>
gotten bit by a mosquito, but I think something just bit me. Not a mosquito, maybe like a spider. I don't know. Okay, where is this story? Oh my god. In the 90s. Man, the 90s were weird, weren't they? In the 90s, we played a big... We played in big cardboard cutouts that look like TVs. I was playing news anchor and I guess it was time for us to be done. The teacher didn't like that. I was still playing so she dragged me out by my ankle. What? And then hit you? This is all on the military base in Illinois. What the fuck? So my mom throws a fit, as she should. <laughs> And instead of taking responsibility, they said it was too much for them and expelled you? What the fuck, Luz? Well, at least it was good that, like, you didn't have to see that fucking teacher again. Because expulsion is, like, forever, right? Or at least for that school year. Fuck that. Fuck that. I'm sorry, Luz. That sucks. <laughs> Amber's gonna find that old lady teacher. That's insane. <sighs> I didn't... That's crazy. I'm sorry. Anyone that hits anybody's kid should say their goodbyes, Amber. <laughs> you don't think colleges look at preschool records? Holy moly. I'd like to hear more about these cardboard TV cutouts, though. <laughs> I want to live in the TV forever. What? Shadow Max, you got paddled in school? Secretaries would ask the principal to wait to paddle him until we can watch. Shadow Max. That's crazy. Was that Catholic school? I know Catholic school, or like still hit people um later in late more more than they should not that they should have ever but damn dudes I'm sorry <laughs> Keisha Mama wants a little loose to still tell the news Oh my god, there were hearts on the paddles. Jeez Louise. Oh no. Little Loose. <laughs> Little Loose was really cute. <laughs> you don't know what happened there. Um, I mean, what happened there was like, I had nothing to do with you. That person had a problem. I'm going to pull a card from this deck because I feel like it. Oh, I should probably check if like... Um, I should probably refund... Oh, I have to wait for it. Because Fairy God is still not here. I'm going to refund their points. Okay. I swear I just heard a cat. There's no cats here.
Hmm. Every time I like make a sound, I hear a cat. Um, it's crazy. No, like domestic animals are allowed here, but then like they have goats. And I'm like, what the fuck? Why can't my mom have a cat? The goat, I, I want a goat now though. I want a goat. Can I have a goat please? Maybe it was like an owl or something. Hmm. Oh no! Can we, let's just make a team weird island, Amber. <clears throat> Do you, do you guys hear the bird, cat, animal thing? I should open the window. Yeah, it must be like a baby owl or a baby hawk or something. What the fuck is a razor belt? Do you hear it? A bird. I think it's like an owl or like a hawk or something. Luz, you posted little Luz in your Discord. Oh my god. I want to see it. Um, yes, hugs to Shadow Max. What school did you go to? That was excitement for the baby bird <laughs> that I'm hearing not 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 for childhood trauma <laughs> it won't download loose ah! oh my gosh look at that news reporter <laughs> I could totally see you reporting the news on that TV screen. Oh my god. <laughs> I love little Luz. Give little Luz a hug. <laughs> and now the news with Luz. What in the world would, <laughs> would little Luz be reporting about? <laughs> Shadow Max, don't leave. You can't leave from too many hugs. Um, random card for whoever wants to receive it. 
opening, opening heart, deep connections, and water blessings. What about cats that shoot cannons? What? <laughs> Okay, I think it's definitely um, a baby owl because <laughs> my my family members have been like complaining about a screeching, and um, we like Googled um, owl noises or whatever, and the great horned owl's babies like kind of screeches a little bit. At least that's what they were saying, the, um, the sound sounded like. This doesn't sound like a screeching, though. It sounds like, I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, we're going to read this card. Number 11. Hmm. I'm like looking at the card. I should probably show it to you. <laughs> there you go. The mermaid priestess of the ocean holds out a hand, calling your attention to your right, the future, and your many upcoming opportunities for connection. Her other hand is held over the heart center as this card portends important relationships on many levels. The first is the potential for a deeply intimate romantic love. Your soul longs to connect, so allow yourself to release any resistance and open your heart and to trust. The next is the kinship of friends and loved ones who truly resonate with your higher desires and beliefs. This family of your soul brings support and joy that help expand your conscious consciousness in amazing directions, including the energetic realms. The rolling waters of the sea represent the profound presence of spirit and the depth of connections you can now make with the vast spiritual world around you. These heart-to-heart -heart communications can be life-changing. So let yourself be open to receiving the powerful waves of inspiration and guidance coming your way. On a literal level, this card may speak of bodies of water in your experience and environment. You may soon find yourself traveling by or over water for personal or professional reasons. Your resistance or workplace Maybe relocating near water, or you may begin a relationship with someone who is similarly situated. Remember, whenever you are near water, let yourself absorb the magic of its energy and the power of its spirit. Offer prayers of thanks for the life force of water that always nurtures your earthly existence. Gentle waves of love, friendship, and spirit are coming my way. I am deeply grateful for the life-giving energies of water. Um, so it's interesting that I just like randomly felt like I needed to um, re pull a card from this deck. And then I like open the window and there's like a tidal river um, right behind me, which means that like the water goes out with the tide and then like comes back in with the tide. And rivers in general, like, just have this flow and movement to them. Like, they say that, like, if you, like, in feng shui, they say, like, if you live by a river, it's kind of, like, bad energy because you're, like, constantly, like, having energy. Like, most rivers go, like, in one direction. So, like, you're constantly having, like, energy just, like, flowing through, like, your home or or like having that energy like taken away from you. But the energy like in this place and on this land is very much like 
it comes and goes just like the the ocean and with the tides so and it has to be going out now because when I started streaming it was high tide so it's probably going out so it it feels like this energy is like being taken away and like you can feel the shift and you can feel the change like when you're here um I don't know that's why and this card was all about water so I was thinking about that anyways um <laughs> Random, random card, random thought for the night. Glasses. Sorry, I put my glasses on so that I can see. Oh yes, what is the cat that shoots cannons? Hoaxers is confused. You read all the child beating stories? <laughs> Ocean talks. Um, I don't know. I think it's, I think it's good to talk about things, um, from your childhood. <laughs> it's, uh, crazy how, like, how much we hold on to stuff and, like, if you talk about it, you can just like let it go. And I do, I do feel like, I don't know, I felt like there was a need to open the window to like, I don't know, connect to that water and to know that if there is something that you need to release that you can like um, release it and let it go because the tide, the tide will take it. Oh no, hoaxers, don't hit trees with bicycles. Sharing does help with your healing journey and I don't know, I think I think that like there are like bodies of land or bodies of water that like help release those sort of things and I'm kind of struggling with like traveling right now because it like in a way it feels so like necessary and like like I feel like I could travel forever and like never stop and be the happiest person on the planet but Sagittarius is my south node. So like, that's what I've done in a past life. That's what I've done before. And it's comfortable to me. It's so comfortable. Like I could be on the road forever. I could live in a tent forever. I could, oh, I would love to sleep on the beach forever. But um, I'm not supposed to. I'm supposed to like be doing other things. And I don't, I don't know how to like, I don't know how to like break away from my south node because it feels so right. <laughs> I don't know how we started talking about that, but <laughs> here we go. Running into a tree with a bicycle, is, I, I would not recommend it either. Do Gemini stuff while doing it. So, but the problem is Gemini, my Gemini south, or North Node is in my fourth house of like community and family. And the only way I have family or at least blood family, as if I travel. The only way I have community is online with you guys. I don't know. Yet you found uh, spending quality moments with ourselves has been helping me reconnect with ourselves much more deeply 
so balanced is eh? so balanced is definitely ideal that's what I'm trying to figure out journey like are we supposed to use our south node to like get to the north node <laughs> I don't know that little baby is crying out there. Give that baby some food. I, I, my guess with the, if it is the baby owl, because when my mom first moved into the house, into this house like six years ago, she, um, there was a great horned owl family that was like visible. Like we could see the nest and we, and, like, she was able to, like, watch the babies hatch and, like, watch them grow and see them fly for the first time. Um, but they, it seems like they're, like, really hesitant to, like, learn how to fly. They just, like, they're, like, mom, bring me food, bring me food, bring me food. And mom will kind of, like, leave them in the nest to, like, make them go fly to get their own food. And they're kind of, like, reluctant to do it. So I'm wondering if that's why it's crying right now maybe I gotta branch out uh, I for sure gotta do something I just feel you balance it out right now I don't I don't know hoaxer sometimes like like last night I felt I was like okay today felt right like every like I think I'm like on on my way to figuring it out and then today I just felt like uh what am I doing when I balance my south node and north node you feel like your life is better yeah I mean that's what I was really hoping for I was like I'm gonna come back with all this clarity everything's gonna make sense I'm gonna have a plan and it just hasn't been happening just need to learn in maintaining it. I know maintaining a balance is, is the thing. And I, and I don't, I mean, I don't think you're always in balance all the time. I think like, I think, um, I keep getting distracted by the bird, um, or owl or whatever it is. Um, I think we're not meant to be in balance all the time. I think like imbalance is created so that we will again find balance. kind of sounds like a cat. Owls sound like cat and they also kind of look like um like the great horned owls have like those like ears that kind of look like cat ears. <gasps> Journey. Did you guys see that? Journey of Self Discovery, you saw that again, right? <laughs> that's the that's the only other time I saw it. Um, there's a com there's a common saying that goes like this: make plans and God laughs because plans tend to go unplanned. <laughs> so maybe let go with the flow. A good plan executed now is. <laughs> Okay, you saw the balloons. Like what? <laughs> what happened again, Journey? What the fuck? <laughs> what in the world? 
world. Okay, so... <laughs> I don't know where those balloons come from, but <laughs> that has happened once before during a birth chart reading. I was filming a birth chart reading on my computer at home for a journey of self-discovery and these balloons just popped up out of nowhere and it just happened again. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know how that happened. <laughs> Happy birthday, I guess. Virgo North Node in your fifth house. Hoaxers. That's interesting because I was just looking at um, my cousin's birth chart and it's so crazy because let me look at it. I was like, I don't think she told me her big three was different than what my birth, my, uh, astrology software pulled up. So I don't know if this is accurate, but if it is accurate, Look at this. I don't know if you can see it. All of this is Virgo. It's Virgo Venus, Virgo Sun, Virgo. What is that? Virgo Jupiter, Virgo Mercury. North node, North node, and Lilith, all in the fifth house. And I'm like, Virgo fifth house. I've been, so I've been thinking about Virgo fifth house. What? Venus, Sun, Jupiter, Mercury, North node. That's six. That's like a double stellium. But she told me she had Scorpio rising and she does not, so... I don't know. This might be a wrong chart. Or she may have given me like the wrong time or something. I don't know. So what do you, what do you guys think the balloons means? Yeah, so she told me she was Scorpio rising, but when I did her chart, it's Gemini rising. So, I don't know. What do you think Virgo in the fifth house means? For you, at least. I know hoaxers. I know. I think some. she just says that somebody told her. Somebody told her that she had Scorpio rising. And I was like, oh, dang, girl, that makes sense for you. Because she, she cray. But having six planets in Virgo kind of makes sense for her as well. <laughs> so... If the chart is accurate, I'm going to be like, girl, you need to like, you need to lean into your Gemini more. Balance friends and personal stuff. Strong boundaries for people. Because you can't say no, because you can't like, like you need to. It, Virgo in the fifth house like needs to be seen for 
the acts of service that you do for people. So like learning to say no, because you, despite your like initial react or your, your, uh, your like, your desire to fulfill this I need you to see me because I did this for you um needing to like suppress that a little bit I don't know she may have given me the wrong birth time I don't know I don't know I was like I'll look at she's like will you give me a fucking massage I'm like no I'm not gonna give you a fucking massage because I have no I'm empty I have no soul left in my body. I have no givingness left in my body. Okay, just making sure I didn't like miss anything on the thingy. Learning the thingies on the thingy. You don't like to say no. I feel that. I don't like to say no either. I don't like to... I don't know, there's always this thought in the back of my head that's the, like, I don't know, like, I don't know. It's like, I don't matter. Like, I'll, I'll sacrifice myself for other people, like, very easily. I'm like, I don't matter. I'll just do it. I'll just get it over with, and then we'll be done with it, and I will have the satisfaction of completing something. What are you talking about, Shadow Max? The poor baby owl needs food. Um, hmm. I know, like, I, I, like, feel for you so hard, hoaxers, because I'm like, uh, if my South Node was Pisces, I'd be so sad because I'm like, I want to be dreamy and spicy. But that's because my rising sign is Pisces, so I think of, I think of you and I'm like, oh, God. <laughs> the sign can't imagine things. Why do you think I, like, choose to live in an imaginary world? Speaking of living in an imaginary world, I'm in a Capricorn, a double Capricorn's house, and I need to clean up my mess before I get in trouble, <laughs> before I get grounded. Ooh, you're gonna get in troubles. <laughs> oh, I wonder, I think I can read from here. I feel like people's, people's might be peacing out. So, how does one look for the other people's on the internet, on the Twitches? <clears throat> so you guys know how um the little moonling like sometimes does like like um when she's recording stuff like she streams when she's recording stuff are there like other musicians that do that too because my um one of my cousins is like a sound engineer and was like talking about how he spends so much time like practicing like recording things and adjusting all the levels and doing the sound engineering things and I was like what if, what if you streamed it because I know the little moonling does that sometimes I don't know if it's like a thing that people watch like I watch her do it but like do do other people watch musicians like recording and producing and stuff 
anyways, I'm just asking because they, um, I was going to like set OBS up on their computer and teach them how to do it. But if nobody would watch it, then I don't want to like make them do it. You think streamers do that? Okay, cool. Um, man, it was so good to see you guys. I don't, I don't want to stop streaming because I miss you so much. Where should we raid to? Oh, um, the Bliss Witch is on. I don't think I've raided her, but we've, um, gone over there with, um, Medium Jenny Lee before. Yeah, I don't know. I just think I just love the creative process and watching how she does it. Like, I don't even understand what's happening, but I like watching it and I like listening to it. And like, if he's already doing that, like for hours and hours a day, like why not stream it? I mean, I guess you kind of feel like you have to talk to people when you're, when you're streaming. So it might be distracting with the creative process, but she seems to have a totally fine... I mean, it totally works for her, I think. I don't know. Anyways, um, it's super cute, though. He has he has all of my, my dad's recording equipment and my dad's computer. And it's just so cute to, like, see 10 years later, like, he taught them how to play guitar. He taught them how to, I don't know. It's just so funny because they were so young. They were so young. And it's it's funny that they like still remember him and they remember t uh, him teaching them. Because he would have, what, God, what, like he was 10? Nine years ago? He was 11. He was 11 nine years ago. And like... <laughs> You still remember? You still remember all the stuff that my dad taught you? That's so crazy. Okay, how do I how do I rate? Anyways, I miss you guys so much. I love you guys. There's so much there's so much happening here. Um, so many crazy things happening and it was so good to see you guys. So I don't wanna go. I don't wanna go. I wanna take you to the beach with me. I wanna take you I want to take you to get a hoagie. I want to take you to eat some lobster. I want to take you, I'm going to see a horse on Saturday. I hope I can sit on the horse. <laughs> if not, I'm just going to give it kisses. I'm going to give the horse kisses. Um, I'm just double checking that I didn't miss anything. How do I rate on here? Sending love. Thank you for the love. Who sent that? Amber. Amber, I miss you so much. Enjoy it. I'm so glad Journey was here. Keisha is here. Boy Cat Loose told us that crazy story. Shadow Max is here. If I'm forgetting somebody, it's not because I love you any less. It's because you're already in my heart. You guys. What does this do? What does this button do? Nope. Nope. How do I raid? I saw it earlier. Oh, it's the parachute dude. Parachute dude to B M O. Is that right? Bliss Witch? Are you fucking kidding me? How the fuck do you spell her name? Oh, the. Oh, jeez. B-M-O. The. Is this it? Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay, I don't know. I, I love you guys. I miss you. Can you hang out with me still in Discord? Because I'm so lonely and and I miss you so much. Heading off to rest. Good night, Journey. Good night, Hoaxers. Good night, Amber. Oh my gosh, you should copy that thing. If, can I copy it? Let me copy it. 
Um, oh, thank you, Void Cat Luz. I think I got it. Thank you. <laughs> Amber, I love you. Hugsters, I love you. Shadow, I love you. Keisha, I love you. What's happening? Is it is it raining? <laughs> did it do did it do the thing? <laughs> Again. Oh no wait, it is it's raining. Okay, cool, cool. Good night everybody. I love you. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <coughs> Alright, I'm just gonna click on this person's channel. Even if that doesn't work. It's raining, I did it. <laughs> it didn't do it on this though. Oh geez. <laughs>